So you have found yourself in a slump. We all get there. It's normal. It happens. I'm going to talk about three things that I do every time I find myself in a slump to get me back on track. So to format this, I'm going to start by talking about the thing that I do, the research behind it, and then I'll talk about how I implement it into my day to day to make it easier for you to also implement it into your day today. First thing I do to get out of a slump is I start by prioritizing water. So when you're dehydrated, your physical performance, cognitive performance, gastrointestinal function, kidney function, heart function, and skin is all negatively affected. That means that when you are hydrated, you have better gastrointestinal function. That means that you're able to clear things easier and your physical performance is also better. So it's easier for you to work out. It's easier for you to move and to run and do whatever you need to do every day. Your cognitive performance is better that is a big one a lot of times when you're in a slump that is a mental thing and so it helps your mental health and it helps you have just more of a clear head as you go through your day which then makes it easier to get out of the slump altogether your skin is more clear when you drink more water kidney function is much better so you're able to move liquid through your body correctly and your heart function also the way I implement this is I just make sure that I carry around water everywhere I go every time like I complete a task or I'm about to start a new one I take a sip of water I just keep it extremely accessible to me so I usually carry a couple in my backpack I take like a cooler to work and so I have some in my cooler as well and anytime I'm eating food, first thing I do is I drink some water, I eat some food, and then I drink water at the end also. So water is just always at the front of my mind throughout the day. Number two, I have a green powder and creatine every morning also. So I have a scoop of each, I mix it in with water, it tastes like crap, and then I chug it. And I swear it makes me feel better. Um, there are no negative side effects to either of these things thus far. So. I like it, it makes me feel good, and I'm not good at eating greens, so it helps me get my greens in also. There were a few studies done on the type of green powder that I use, so it's called Greens Plus, and from the study, they had a placebo group, and then they had a group taking the green powder every day for, I believe it was about three months, and they just had people judge like how they were feeling. So neither group knew what they were taking, so it was blind, which is a really good way to do it because then nobody uses, um, like the placebo effect. They think they're taking green powder. They don't feel like they're feeling a certain way if they're not. So some of the research behind it, what they found is it increases your feeling of vitality. It increases your energy, your perception of well-being, which is huge. That's a big part of getting out of a slump also is a lot of times it's mental. And so if you're feeling just better and your sense of well-being is just increased and more positive, that can help you jump back on track too. It also increases your mental health and general health and it decreases incidence of colds and the flu, which I think is really interesting. Um, so this was a completely randomized control trial and they compared it to a placebo group. So like I said before, that means that both of them neither knew what they were taking. They both took it for about three months um, and they did it only on females, which I thought was interesting. So I'm a female, so this means a lot more to me then. So yeah, that is one of the reasons I take the green powder. Now, creatine, on the other hand, so this is one of the most studied supplements. As far as they have found, there are no negative effects unless you have kidney problems already. So with creatine, it amplifies the effects of, of resistance training, so of your strength training. It improves quality and benefits of high intensity intermittent speed training, and it improves aerobic performance overall, and it also improves neurological function. So a lot of positives for that and such an easy thing to take. It tastes like nothing if you get the unflavored ones, mix it in some water, drink it, and then you just feel better. So I start doing that every morning also. And some mixing with water, it also helps me continue prioritizing water. The way I implement that is as soon as I wake up in the morning, I have it there and ready. So I have it in a place where I know I'm going to go. So I just do that every morning. So that's part of my morning routine. Third and final thing I do to get myself out of a slump is less social media scrolling. I have less unintentional scrolling. For the most part, I think that it is pretty obvious what it does to our brains. So there are detrimental effects on psychological health of people that use social media regularly, which is pretty much everybody. It increases anxiety and depression in those that do already have anxiety and depression. I have a very high anxiety and it definitely makes me feel not good when I am scrolling through social media unintentionally. I end up looking at reels for hours at a time and everything hurts. My jaw hurts, my neck hurts, my brain hurts. I just, I feel icky, it's hard for me to sleep. So less scrolling on social media. If I'm going on social media, I'm posting something to try to help people and I'm answering messages from people and then that's it. I try to not scroll unless I'm looking for answers to something. Something about like research that's interesting, but it's always intentional. If it is unintentional scrolling, that's usually where I go downhill. 
And the way that I get that in is I just keep it in the front of my mind throughout the day. It's one of my goals of the day. I prioritize water, I drink my green juice and creatine, and then I also make sure that I am not scrolling on social media unintentionally. Those are the three things that I do to get myself out of a slump. Remember, it is normal to go into a slump. Everything is up and down all the time. It is really good to be flexible and just have a few core things that you can always go back to that you know are going to give you that jump start and back on track with whatever your, your goals are. I prioritize water. I drink my green juice and creatine every morning and then I scroll much less on social media. If I am on there, I answer messages, I post things to try to help people and that is it.